Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a light ball in Photoshop like this one here. So I'm going to open up Photoshop to start with and I'm going to go File, New and I'm going to make sure the width is 800 and the height is 600 and click OK. So it's now 800 by 600 and I'm just going to press D to get my default colours back. I'm now going to um, fill up the background with black so I'm going to press Alt and Delete and the next thing to do now is to make a new layer so control shift n and I'm going to call this new layer ball and click OK next thing to do is to make a circle circle using the elliptic marquee tool which is here on the menu I'm then going to draw it out on the page just drag your mouse as you can see this isn't a perfect isn't perfect circle so press shift and now it makes it perfect circle like so I'm going to make it that big next thing to do is we need to make it white so I'm going to press X which swaps the colors around here if you notice that um, then I'm gonna um, go alt and tab to again fill it up right the next thing to do is I need to select two colors these two colors I'm going to make a goldy color so we're gonna have gold here I've got to say to select your color all you gotta do is click on the color palette and um, where it's black I'm also going to click again now I've got this little dropper so I'm going to use the dropper and click on the gold and I'm going to make the gold slightly lighter than the other gold and click OK we'll need that in a second we don't need that just now now I'm going to double click where it says ball on the uh, layers and it brings up layers styles first thing we need to do is we need to add a drop shadow uh, we're going to change blend mode to normal, change the color to white, opacity to 100, distance to 0, spread to 39, and size to 9. Next thing to do is we're going to make a gradient overlay. So click where it says gradient overlay. As you can see, it's changed because you've got a live view. And double click on gradient. And we're going to click, there's a preset one up here, which is the two colors which we have here in our palette. Uh, that one will always use the colors that you have in your palette so click on that and click OK next thing is to change the style to radial uh, I've just noticed I've made my colors the wrong way round the, it should be dark uh, on light so I need to click reverse just so you can see there's a you can see a light patch and I'm just going to move that to move the um, white I'm just going to move it up a bit you can just about see it uh, then I'm going to click OK. Next thing to do is I'm just going to press Control and D to deselect my selection. Then I'm going to come up here to do where the lasso tool is. Click on the lasso tool. Um, if it's not there, you have to right click and then it will be there. That's the same with all these menus. If you right click, you will um, then have more menus. Uh, so I'm just going to draw this out. This is just like a pen tool in Paint, really. Just draw. To add a selection, you press shift um, as you can see once I press shift you get a little plus arrow just hold down shift whilst you make these other selections so you can have more than one just doing that now have one more there right now I've done that I'm going to press delete and as you can see it has made these white patches and it's just deleted the outside skin so now I'm going to press control and D to deselect that then I'm going to go back to my eclipse tool and I'm going to make a new circle which is the same size as this one so it's about that big, this is just trial and error if it's right yeah that'll do next thing we need to do, we need to go to filter distort sephirize, I can't really say that properly but yeah and you want to make the amount 80% so once you've done that click OK and control and delete so as you can see it is now uh, it's a bit more kind of compact. Next thing to do is going to click on layer and flatten image. So now you can see the background and the image has all gone into one. So next thing to do is make the nice lines. So you want to go on to filter, distort and we're going to go polar coordinates and we need to go polar to rectangular. And as you can see it and click OK of course on that and as you can see it's made it weirdly at the top so the next thing to do is you need to go to image rotate canvas 90 degrees CW or clockwise 
and then we're going to go to filter stylize wind and we're going to go from right and as you can see it has left these nice um, as if it's been dragged I'm going to click control and F um, what that basically does is it doubles it so as many times as you press it that's how more intense it will get so again I'm going to go filter stylize wind and I'm going to go from left this time now I normally do one extra control and F because it's the best thing to do otherwise the other ones make it look too crowded next thing to do is to go to image rotate canvas 90 degrees counterclockwise which is CCW and then we're going to go back to filter um, we're going to go to distort and we're going to go to polar coordinates and rectangular to polar so now you can see we have this cir uh, circle here which has got as if some stuff's been exploded out of it next thing to do is again draw another selection using the ellipse tool which again don't forget right click if it's gone missing uh, so I'm going to press shift and drag that out ok and then I'm going to go to select inverse so now you can see the whole thing's been selected and the next thing to do is go to select modify feather and feather it by 15 pixels ok now what we can do is we can deselect that selection which we have made here so go control and D and then we're going to go back to filter distort ocean ripple now this menu can take a little while to load sometimes and we want to make ripple size to 10 and ripple magnitude to 2 there should be it should be here ocean ripple underneath distort if it's not there and click OK so as you can see it looks like it's bursting out now um, right the next thing to do is to then go to image adjustments uh, and then color balance now here I'm just going to change it so I'm going to go full up to red fall down to yellow and I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to go back into it and do color balance again and I'm going to click shadows and I'm going to go full actually I'm not going to go full up to red because I just want the tips red and yellow we'll have about there ok so there you have it you have your ball of energy or nice swiggly ball you can change the colors on this of course to get different effects or you can change the color balance if you want different colors so I hope this tutorial helped it's a very quick tutorial if you have any questions or things which you think you don't know how to do please leave them in the comments and I'll reply to the comments as soon as I can and hopefully get that fixed for you okay and I hope this uh, tutorial helped and have great fun with it thank you